Did any of these weekly HVTs give me anything? Well, as you can see, I have gotten them all completed once again. Did every one of you guys get yours done this week? Or did you just pass them? Hello guys, uh, today I'll be showing you my uh, rewards for my weekly HVTs. And, uh, well, let's just start it. All right, so we're going into the guns. We've got a Black Market SASG-12S, a.k.a. also known as the Sausage. 330% stagger with talent of unforgiven, competent, and brutal. Now, uh, I know I'd always tell you guys that, you know, what I would get rid of, but, uh, um, I think this week I might just let you, on the guns, let you decide. Uh, we also got a another black market uh, SAS G12S, 340.50% stagger with talents of adept, dom dominant, and self-preserved. We've got a military M60E4 with a 15% damage to target out of cover. Far so I know it's the highest you can get on a damage to target out of cover off of the LMG. It's got the talents of Predator... Predatory, adept, and meticulous. We got a police M4 with 23% enemy armor damage. I think that's the highest you can get. I think. We got a talent of self preserve, swift, and unforgiven. A police UMP45 with 22% critical hit chance with talents of fierce, self preserved, and ambusher. A Scar L with 23% enemy armor damage with talents of skilled, swift, and ferocious. SRSA1 with 169% headshot damage with a talents of balanced, competent, and dominant. We got a tactical AUG A3P with 22% critical hit chance with talents of meticulous, self preserved, and hurried. And we got a tactical Super 90 SPS with 336% stagger with talent of trained, competent, and vicious. And guys, uh, if uh, this video has helped you in any way or if you know you enjoy it, uh, leave a like, share, and subscribe. It really does help me out. We got a stamina mod with a 266 stamina uh, with a tribute of 3328 health. I think that's all of them. Okay, yeah. All right, now we've got a tactical vest with 1981 armor, 1205 stamina. Talent is rapid with a tribute of 14,231 health, 5% enemy armor damage, and 24% increased kill XP. Uh, I'd probably more than likely be trying to get some ammo capacity on this. Uh, 1911 armor on the tactical vest with 1256 stamina, talent of rapid, 4% uh, health on kill, 8% skill haste, and 52% ammo capacity. I would probably be trying to roll into health or electronics, or, you know, whatever you could possibly roll in to be better than uh, I'd be getting rid of the skill haste. That's just definite. And we got a 1967 tactical vest with 12, or 1967 armor tactical vest with 1210 stamina, talent rapid, 4% all resistance, 8% skill haste, and 28% increased kill XP. Now, other than armor, this isn't really too good, but I would probably get rid of uh, all resistance. All right, now let's go down here. We've got an Alpha Bridge Mask and a 967 Armor with 1257 Electronics, and tributes of 4% All Resistance, and a, tri a minor tribute of 17% Disorient Resistance. So I would probably more likely get rid of All Resistance. I just don't like it. Got a D3 FNC Mask with 975 Armor on it, 1185 Firearms, and 4% Health on Kill and 15% Burn Resistance. Uh, just looking at the stats, I'd tell you what I'd increase. I'm not going to tell you any more of, well, I do stem or I do this or blah, blah, blah. What could make it better, honestly, would be firearms. Roll it up higher. Uh, 957 armor on a hunter's face mask with 1238, uh, firearms, uh, tribute of 11% exotic damage resilience, 13% increased kill XP. More than likely, I'd be getting rid of the exotic damage resilience. All right, we've got a Sensory's Call Mask at a 950 Armor, uh, 1262 Stamina, which is a pretty decent roll on that. 
attributes of 10% exotic damage resilience and 17% blind death resistant resistance, excuse me. Uh, the 10% exotic damage resilience would probably be gone. And let's go on down to the knees. Um, I've got a tactician authority knee pads at 1631 armor, 1141 electronics, 3% all resistance, 27% shot resistance, 30% disorient resistance, and 32% burn resistance. The all resistance or the electronics would be changed. Uh, 1654 armor on a uh, tactical pad knee pads, of course. It's a 1271 electronics, which is one shot of max that uh, max number on electronics or stamina, or firearms if you wrote them anyways. Anyways, uh, a talent of accomplished with attributes of 15,106 health, 31% blind death resistance, 30% shot resistance, 33% bleed resistance. This is a, um, a pretty good pair of knee pads, I'm telling you right now. I mean, of course, I don't like the talent off of it, but hey, I mean, this could work out until you got some, like, a better knee like a gear set because to be honest uh, there is one other gold pair and uh, sorry I record these things live and I just had to sneeze so I had to mute my mic all right sorry for that uh, the interruption guys um, like I was saying about these knee pads the rewards for acolytes are tripled. All right, if you're needing rewards, then it's all good and dandy. But thing is, the short bow knee pads is the best knee pads in the game, hands down. Okay, they're exotics, uh, and there is no other gold knee pad that honestly can come close to that. And even the gear set pads, they don't really uh, benefit you unless you got sets and stuff like that. But I feel like, you know... I'm just showing you these because, you know, they either got high armor or they're pretty decent rows. They got 1635 armor on the operator knee pads at 1161 electronics. A talent is accomplished and attributes is 3% all resistance, 28% disorient resistance, 29% shot resistance, and 29% burn resistance. So I would more likely either roll up electronics to get rid of all resistance. All right, let's go... What do I got here? We got a Century's Call backpack. Yes, it's under 1300 but I'm still going to talk about it. It's got pretty decent rolls on it. So 1283 armor, which is not too shot or bad, you know. Uh, 1206 firearms with 12,031 health, 52% ammo capacity. We got another Century's Call backpack. If you didn't like that one, maybe you like this one. I kind of doubt it compared to what I just told you, but it's a 1282 fire or a 1282 armor. And a 1268 firearms with 15.5% stability and 15% disrupt resistance. So uh, you could try to get ammo capacity on it and keep the stability. And you have some great arm or uh, firearms right there. Or you could get rid of the stability, you know, and possibly get something like health or whatever you want to do. All right. Now we got hands here, gloves. We got a Final Master gloves at 975 armor, uh, 11. 89 firearms, 5% 5 critical hit chance, 1326 assault rifle damage, and 2281 pistol damage. Um, I would more likely get rid of the pistol damage. Excuse me, I, I just, that's just probably what I do. All right, we've got a Gloves and Nomad, which I'm really happy I did get these that are up because they're better than what I do have, so I'm going to be actually uh, spending a little bit on them. 1,001 armor, 1,269 firearms, 1,259 assault rifle damage, 4% health on kill, and 8% skill haste. Uh, the thing is, yes, it doesn't got any critical hit chance or damage on it. But considering uh, I would more than likely, the assault rifle damage is what I run with a Nomad, the assault rifles. So more than likely, and the health on kill is just a really good thing when it comes to gloves and Nomad. Since it's already got a really good good uh, roll on firearms, I'd probably change out for critical hit chance. Because, you know, the da you got critical hit damage or whatever off of, uh, you know, you, you don't need the damage. Honestly, you need a chance to make the damage. All right, so we got a gunslinger gloves at 967 armor, uh, 1193 electronics with talent of astute, 
A major tribute to 16% critical hit damage, 860 SMG damage, and 7.5% enemy armor damage. Enemy armor damage will be gone, or I just roll up the electronics. All right, and last but not least, let's see. I've got one more to tell you about. 998 Spec Ops Holster, 998 Armor. 1254 firearms, 1122 stamina, 1257 electronics uh, with a talent of recovered and a major tribute of 66% skill haste. More than likely, I just raise up the stamina on this uh, just to make it up to where on par uh, with the other two uh, with the firearms and electronics, make it 1250s or something. Or if I could do those 1270s too, that would be awesome. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. Hopefully, uh, this has made you want to do the weekly HVTs. This is my rewards from the weekly HVTs. And I uh, really do have a lot of fun doing them. I have some friends I run with. And when I don't have anybody on, then I do actually run with randoms. Uh, now, I'm not going to put it in my description, but I'm going to let you know. If you've came this far into the video, you've watched it this far, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that uh, if you want to play the division, you don't have many people to play with and people that are dedicated to the game, I don't only play the division, but I do play it, try to play it at least once a day. And, of course, I make a lot of videos on it, as you can see on my channel. So here's the thing. Um, my gamer tag is off the PlayStation Network. It is CJYORK321. So uh, you can actually, I believe, see it here in a moment. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, right there. See it? Right there, friends only group right below it, CJYORK321. Now, if you want to play with me, then just simply send me a message on the PSN and, you know, say I, I've seen your channel and, and things. And hopefully, you know, I, I like to play with anybody, but hopefully if you've came this far, you have subscribed to the channel and you've liked it and so on and so forth. And share the videos if you if you don't mind. It really does help out a lot. And guys, this is Just Hit Square. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And guys, I will see you next time.